Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Animal Figure Hunter and today I'll be taking a look at a set called Living Fossils by Epoch. So it is an eight figure set with six basic figures and two secret figures and this set came out back in 2003 and uh, this is part one where I'll be taking a look at uh, for the figures from the set. So the first one I'll be taking a look at is the tadpole shrimp. So this figure is one piece. You don't need to assemble anything for the figure itself, but uh, you do have to do some simple assembly for the stand. So there's a hole at the bottom of each of these figures. And there's a small plastic rod where you just plug that into the hole and then you put this into the base. Now the cool thing about these figures is that the base will have the uh, scientific name or the Latin name of the figure. So this one is called Triops Longicaudatus. Not really good at uh, pronouncing these Latin names, but I definitely know how to say the, uh, the more common names. So this is the tadpole shrimp, and these guys are actually really, really small. Um, they're crustaceans, and uh, sometimes you can find them in uh, your local pet shop. So that is the tadpole shrimp. All right, the next guy on our list is this guy here. And this is called the Bay Riches Slit Shell Sea Snail. So you can see the pattern on here is very, very intricate on the shell. Very detailed. So this guy can be found in uh, the waters off the coast of Japan. And just like the other figure, stick the, uh, the rod into the hole. And this one should be easier to pronounce. Mikadotrokis Berichi. So I may have pronounced that wrong. Hopefully I didn't, but yeah. Uh, more common name is Berichi's Slit Shell sea snail. All right. The next figure on our list. So this guy you got to put together comes in two parts and it's called the Arapaima also known as the Piraruku. And you can find this in the uh, tropical rainforests um, in South America and the rivers there. These guys can grow to be really, really big. Definitely over, I would say definitely around over five feet or more. So the Latin name here, is what it's called, Arapaima gigas. Let's have a look at this figure a little bit more. You can see that the tail has a nice red color which goes into very shiny silver. And they put different shades of it just like the real thing. All right, and the last figure for this video this guy right here, this odd looking circular animal is called a chambered nautilus, part of the nautilus family. So the chambered nautilus is uh, probably the most uh, popular one that people will see in zoos and aquariums. So these things here are a bunch of his tentacles. It's kind of like a, a squid hiding in a shell 
a really nice pattern. So you'll see that sometimes when you go to um, some souvenir shops, um, any places like uh, near the beach or near the ocean, you'll see some jewelry made out of the shells or just the shell itself, which can fetch hundreds of dollars as um, a lot of people like to collect them for their shell. But these guys, uh, you can find them, um, you know, in the deep. If you're lucky, if you go scuba diving, you might be able to see one of these guys. And it's a really cool figure. All right. So let's take a look at the uh, Latin name of this guy. See if I can pronounce it. All right, it's not wanting to focus, but what I see is Nautilus Pompilus. Can't really butcher that. Nautilus Pompilus. So there you go. All right, so I'll do the, uh, the other four figures in my next video. So let me know what you think about uh, these figures and uh, please give me a like thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.